Welcome back to the score. Galing natin ito with the entry of 3x basketball in the Southeast Asian Games. Our two teams came out on top for the men's division. The Philippines defeated Indonesia 21 to 10 in the finals after going undefeated in the preliminary rounds. In the women's division, our team would bounce back after a shocking loss to Thailand to win in the finals against Thailand, avenging their only loss 17 to 13. That was exciting, I guess. There was the whole redemption story na talagang it was their only loss. And then suddenly, may nakuha nila ulit yung panalo. Eh. So para at the same time, it was even sweeter as we said it a while ago because, yes, it, you know, that loss doesn't matter because at the end of the day, we got that gold. Yeah, that, that loss, <laughs> ginalit eh. Ginalit yung ating <laughs> All the uh, women's team. Na para, okay, when, when we meet you in the finals, uh, we are not going to let it go. And that's why I think we have on our phoner one of our guests to talk about this great game. None other than, of course, Coach Pat. Coach Pat? Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Congratulations <laughs> on the win. Yeah. Coach, parang tuloy -tuloy na yung panalo nyo. can you let us know what are your tips and you know the secret for your winning success in the, in the women's basketball? Well, I'm just, just happy with the girls na they, they really work hard for this and just just happy with with what they did today, and sana it would continue to the five on five. Ah, uh, tama yan, coach. No, uh, your job is not yet done. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, pero coach, uh, NU six feet, ninety six straight victories in the UAP, and now gold medal in the Sea Games three uh, X. Coach, coach Pat, eh, ba kailan magpakain ka na, coach? Huh? Wala ka tapos na ng iyong uh, pagpapanalo. Anytime, anytime, but you know, just uh, na. Yung natutuwa ako doon sa mga tinagawa ng mga girls natin. Kasi talagang yung sakripisyo at kakagirap na ginawa namin for the past few months, eto na, ito na yung goal for them. So talagang uh, masaya ako for the Federation, yung Sir Ad, Sir Sunny, yung Sir Ryan Gregorio, and to the management of the uh, Filipinas. Talagang who are really at our back supporting us all the way. Coach Pat, uh, I wanted to know, nung natalo yung women's team dun sa Thailand, did you think they used it as fuel when they went against the team in the finals? Or wala, you know, it was just another game to them, being in the finals? Not really. It was like a wake-up call for us. Mm. So, we, it's a good thing that we lost, but at the same time, sayang. Yeah. But... You know, nakita namin, pwede yung mali namin, and the next time na makalawa namin siya, we know what to do with it. We can do na. So, uh, buti na lang din na uh, nagkakaroon. So, nakita ng mga girls na alam nila, kaya naman nila. Eh. So, yeah, ginawa lang nila yung talagang gusto lang magawa for the game. Uh, Coach, uh, let's talk about Jack Daniel and Imam. Alam mo naman na uh... Uh, si Jack ay aking favorite UAAP player of all time. Ikaw ba, nahirapa ka bang pilitin si Jack? Because she's coming off an injury. In, in fact, uh, she probably played in pain. Ikaw ba, nahirapa ka bang pilitin siya maglaro sa 3X for, this, for the SEA Games? Or si Jack talaga is such a fighter and competitor na, no coach, I'm not going to sit it out. Gusto ko lumaban dyan. Yeah, wala akong masabi sa kanya. From so what happened to her uh, in New Zealand, uh, she was left behind because of her injury dun sa, parang may uh, fracture siya dun sa skull niya. And then when she came back, she was really ready and she missed us. So sabi niya, I miss staying na coach, I wanna, wanna work out na. And then, before the start of the tournament, pinagbawa na pa yung mask niya. So talagang hindi namin alam po na gagawin namin. So, Well, Coach Pat, how was the celebration like after you got that gold for the team, for the girls, for you? I can't be my So, this from the Federation, what there is the management. We were crying, everybody was busy. This is for the women's basketball. Sana man, sabi ko mga kanina, sana mapansin naman kami, sana ma-recognize na kami ngayon na 
not only the men, but the women's basketball also. Well, for the record, Coach Pata, kayo ang unang pinag-uusapan namin ngayong gabi. <laughs> Mamaya na sila, Papa Ronnie and the Men's 3X team. Uh, Coach Pat, yes, yes. why should uh, Filipinos be inspired with the accomplishment of Jack Animam, Claire Castro, Afril Bernardino, and Janine Ponteos? Why are these athletes inspiration for Filipinos? Well, maybe siguro for the longest time, hindi napapansin ng women's basketball. And ito na yung, ano, yung sacrifice na yung all the hard work na, na ginagawa nila for the country. So uh, we just hope na this is a start of something big for women's basketball here in the Philippines. So yun lang, sana tuloy-tuloy lang yung support at ha. And I think mas marami pang mga ganito makukuha namin for your country. Coach Pat, you know, what are the you know future plans for the team? Do you have any competitions up ahead, maybe to practice for more competitions abroad? I uh, really hope so. There, there are lineup for uh, tournaments for next year for the FIBA TSC. And we're hoping that the ginawan ng men this year for the qualifying for the Olympics, sana tayren, tamiren, yung women's side. Uh, maging din kami for the next, for the future time. Okay, Coach Pat. Alam ko si Coach Pat, ano na yan, nagahanda na yan for the 5-on-5 <laughs> five five naman. Uh, Coach Pat Aquino and the rest of the team, uh, Coach Pat, mabuhay po kayo and congratulations. Uh, yeah, thank you so much again. Maraming maraming salamat po para sa bayan po to and thank you ulit sa mga support nyo at players. All right, Coach Patrick Aquino, head coach of our victorious women's 3X team, uh, Jack Animam, Claire Castro, Afril Bernardino, and the uh, sweet shooting Janine Ponteos, uh, one of my idol shooters now uh, in basketball. Congratulations po sa inyo. Now, men's side man, let's talk about that 3X uh, victory. Coach Ronnie Magsanok. Sweep. And they swept it. Uh, syempre, uh, you know, uh, th this is expected kasi syempre, Basketball is our sport in the Southeast Asian Games, but... What is basketball without Filipinos? Yes, but it doesn't mean that it was easy, right? I think, you know, with our athletes, with winning all the gold, the beautiful thing about it is what, you know what Agatha said a while ago, we only see when they win the gold, but what matters the most is, you know, all the sacrifices that they go through in getting that gold, and... I, for one, am very curious to know that that sweep did not, as you mentioned a while ago, did not come easy. And I want to know the story behind it. Well, we will find out the story <laughs> behind it because, uh, so again, congratulations. CJ Perez, Mo Tautua, who has a nice three-point shooting touch now. Chris Newsom and Jason uh, Perkins. So, yan yung ating victorious uh, 3X team. Naturally, they, they had to deal with pressure because everyone who watched that at the Phil Oil Arena... Inaasahan nila na, oh, Philippines, dapat tabakan nyo yung mga kalaban. Dapat hindi walang makakadikit na mga Southeast Asian teams. And that's, that, you know, that's incredible pressure for a team to deal with. But, you know, they are veteran players. You have Jason Perkins, CJ Perez. They're champions in their own right. Talagang nandun yung winning mindset and yung mentality na, you know, the crowd, the pressure might be there. But at the end of the day, they're athletes and it's all about winning the game despite all the noise. Yeah, CJ Perez uh, destroyed someone with the... <laughs> What a slam dunk uh, in the in the three x uh, Wow, CJ Perez with one of uh, one of your uh, memorable moments uh, in the in the Sea Games. And what the, our women's and men's team uh, what they did is really setting the tone for basketball. So we dominated three x, and now ang 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 ngayon na pirigdat sa lang tao that this augurs well for our 5 on 5 team That's true. under coach uh, Tim Cohn. We have uh, one of the members of our gold medal team in the 3X, Mo Tauto on the line. Mo, good evening and congratulations, Mo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Mo, hey, I saw I saw your three-point shot, man. I saw that. Oh. You, you, are you going that's to take more? No, that's not lucky. Are you going to take more uh, you know, gold medal winning three-point shots uh, uh, on the court? Of course, man. If they, if they leave me open, I'm taking it. No hesitation. Mo, well, I wanted to ask, you know, was, what were the struggles that you encountered during the game? I'm sure it wasn't smooth sailing, but, you know, how did you get past it? Um, you know, one, one, of the, one of the things that was hard for us out there was um, just making sure we're fresh. Uh, we had to move a lot. We're running a lot. Um, we, got, we have a lot on our mind in, in terms of our scouting reports. So, um, the rotations that Coach had us in and... Uh, 
keeping us fresh, kept us sharp on the court the whole time. Mo, what do you want to tell all the Filipinos who were cheering for you in Phil Oil and cheering for you all over the country, uh, praying for your uh, gold medal win today? Man, I want to say thank you all of you guys. You guys really helped us, really pushed us through to the end. And, uh, you know, I love you guys. Thank you for always supporting us. You know, um, we're doing it for you guys, and we're going to continue doing it for you guys, huh? All right, Mo Tautu, a gold medalist, part of our 3X men's basketball team. Mo, once again, thank you for joining the score, and congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Take care. And now we continue with all the medals that we've been racking up. The Philippine water polo is back on the podium after an eight-year medal drought. So now we will be sitting down with the members of the Triumphant squad when the score returns.